I'm here in Franklin, Tennessee. It's a Saturday late morning and I'm gonna go on a walk. This park was recommended to me by my new friend Kathy. Hope you watched that cool video meeting her and her gorgeous shuttle bus and meeting Chauncey. I'll try to put the link in the description in case you missed it. But this is a beautiful, beautiful park. And so I'm heading out tomorrow on what I think will be about a six month road trip. And of course, I will do videos along the way. I'm kind of thinking they're gonna be more like, I'm either gonna combine a few days together or I'm just gonna do snippets from one place to the next. Uh, maybe like less than 10 minute type videos. Put in the comments, would you rather have 20 or 25 minutes of several different places or would you rather just have smaller videos and more often <laughs> do you want in other words do you want more of serene and simple life on a daily basis or would you like to just hear her uh, once or twice a week as i've been doing all right let's go on a walk and see what we can see Tomorrow I take off. Hope you'll join me. Love those bird sounds. They are at it. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. This is by Centennial Park in Franklin, Tennessee. Franklin is gorgeous and showed you a little bit of Franklin the other day when Kathy and I went into town, showed you the square a little bit and some sights. It was so much fun. Miss you, Kathy. Hope you're having a good time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, going to get some exercise and I've got my plan mapped out for six months. Although, of course, it's uh, written lightly because it could change. And I'm hoping to meet a few of you followers along the way. If anybody wants to email me, Linda at SayItDisplayIt.com and let me know where you're going to be from, uh, let's say from late April through September, I will let you know if it's in my mapped out plan right now. If you'd like to meet, whether it be for just a day or whether or not you have a little place where I can park or park nearby and we can visit for a couple days. Whatever works for you. I'm going to enjoy the travels. It's going to be a, I don't know, I guess you could say kind of like a, uh, hear me on this one. I hate to say this because people will say, oh, are you quitting the nomad life? No, I'm not quitting the nomad life. I'm going to be part-time nomad though. Um, this will be kind of my like uh, finale hurrah road trip. Um, I'm looking at it. Oh, I'm just so excited to get away from the madness, like to just keep going. You know, don't be in one place. Uh, and what's going on with our beautiful country. But I'm going to be out enjoying the trees and the birds and the mountains and the water and the sounds and nature and all of it, whether it's just off the interstate at rest areas or whether I dig deeper into some campgrounds, I may decide to go to a campground here and there. I've already looked at freecampsites.net and just uh, spend a day or two at a campground. I'm thinking about like, you know, I'll get veggies ahead of time, do some saute veggies and I don't know, just try to eat a little healthier. Uh, no guarantee. 
because I do like to snack while I'm driving. But there's healthy snacks too. And I've left my cooler behind, which just last night I was thinking, man, maybe I should have brought my cooler, but that's okay. It's all right, I like being a little bit lighter. That cooler took up a lot of space and I have all my Say It Display It products. So I'm also gonna intertwine some of my themed collections, I think. I'm gonna do some videos to inspire you with some sayings as I travel on down the road and, yep, going to enjoy some new company my own company just see where god takes me the uh, cabin build is about six months out it could be sooner could be later so i'm not going to put any kind of uh, deadline on that um, well of course i can't put a deadline on it it's totally up to them just Going to enjoy doing the last of the lower 48 states, which is, uh, I have North Carolina, Missouri, Kansas, and Oregon left to do. Now, I didn't count Oregon before because I've already been to Oregon, but I've not really delved into the state. So I'm gonna go a lot of different places, not only the beach, but just walking by the woods here. Hmm, looks like maybe, I don't know, is that apartments over there? I don't know, but anyways. Yeah, this is awesome. Like there was a guy in front of me and there's two people up there, but kind of just have the whole area to myself. I love it. Gonna keep walking, walking and talking. So I'll be finishing the lower 48, and then after that, I've already been to Hawaii, and I'll still have Alaska to do. So we'll see what next year brings. I'm very excited to uh, maybe uh, catch up a little bit with all the gas money I'm going to be spending in the next six months, and maybe stay put for a year. Could be like a fun little challenge for myself. You know how I love little challenges and I love change and I'm going to be enjoying decorating the cabin and you know making pillows and crocheting and finishing my book, painting. I'm going to start a new line of uh, Serene and Simple Life products with uh, photography. I'm going to do some framing. So I've got a lot of things that I want to do, and I don't know about you, but I've said many times before, a year can go really, really fast. So my plan is most likely to stay put and do some, uh, some motivational pieces with you, things that I've accumulated and saved through the years. I'll probably do a once a week motivational Maybe a once a week catch up on how my week went. And uh, yeah, you can follow me throughout uh, the end of oh, I don't know what's going on up there. Maybe a farmer's market, huh? Just walk up there and see. But follow me through the end of 2021 into 2022, and we'll see where it takes us. All right, Ink, I'm going to turn around. Just looks like a, I don't know. Maybe a street we were on the other day here in Franklin. I don't know. I don't know if I'll walk up there or not. There's a lot of people parked alongside here, so. All right, curiosity's got the best of me. I gotta go see what's up there. Oh my gosh, look, Kathy. It's your hot air balloons. Oh my gosh. You'll have to come back here and get a hot air balloon. Maybe put it outside your rig. How cute are those? Adorable. There's even better. A little bit closer up. Those are so sweet. They're we're like whirly birds. Only better. That was the building I guess we were looking at. Here's a coffee house. Yeah. People enjoying their freedom. 
and acting free too. I gotta love it. You gotta love it. Porch sale over there. This is cute, really cute. All right, so I'm personally digging the uh, birdhouses. Look at that one in the back that has like a heart on it. Oh my gosh. If I already had my cabin and a little bit of savings, I'd go right in there and buy one of those. I decided I don't want to walk the streets. Um, you know, and the, I don't know, the, all the people that are out and everything like that. I would just really like to, I just like being um, on a pathway like this. Easy walking, get some exercise. You don't have to stop and start at the crosswalks. So, look at those purple flowers. Yeah. I am really excited about this road trip. Just because it's not, it's definitely planned. I've got like five pages planned out. I took a lot of notes from recommendations, things people have told me I should see, go see, do. I've been taking notes for a couple years now. So I put it all together into some highlights. I mapped out the miles. Looks like I'm gonna be doing about, when all's said and done, I don't know, maybe around 13, 14,000 miles. So that's not too bad for a, uh, six months. It's, uh, I get about 400 miles to a tank of gas, and I'm averaging 250 to $3, unless we keep skyrocketing here. So, it'll be about $1,500 in gas, or about $250 a month. Perhaps now some of you can see one of the many reasons I love, love, love my SUV. <laughs> you can't get that kind of mileage on an RV, uh, gas mileage, so that feels pretty good, and knowing that I have a plan to meet a couple of you, Sandy said I could always come back up to Washington and hang out with her, so that's awesome. So nice, such a compliment when someone says that you can come back. <laughs> and uh, Kimberly said the same, so thank you girls so much, so much. And some of you have already extended beautiful invitations and I've reached out to you where my journey's taking me to uh, yeah, what you say? Knock off the last of the 48. Woo! -hoo. Going to be doing a lot of photography, taking a lot more pictures. I will probably design a new themed collection with Say It, Display It. Check that out if you haven't already. SayItDisplayIt.com. Daily inspiration cards. Fuel your day, fuel your month. 30 in a deck and you rotate them out daily for a different message to focus on they come complete with a display stand say it display it all right that's my little plug that's my free marketing for all the work I do here yay and those of you who are not interested and just ignore it. Awesome. Freedom. No need to be negative or to post negative comments because when you do, I read them and then I delete them because they're meant for me. They're not meant to uh, start a uh, long chain conversation where uh, you get your fan club, people that agree with you and yeah. That's for you to start a channel to do. Awesome. <laughs> My little bunny trail there. So there's a bridge down here. 
I'm thinking Kathy said that she went down by the water too. I know she loves water and Chauncey loves water. We all love water. So way down there's a bridge. And let's see where that takes us. Wow, you just turn your head and there's your beauty. Free. Lovely, lovely flowers. Thank you, Lord, for our senses, our senses. Thank you for all of these beautiful gifts. Sight, smell, sound, touch. All of it. Coming up on the bridge now and the water. I think I may have saved the best for last. Oh, there's my duck friends. Here's your duck friends. Oh, they're so pretty. So, so pretty and peaceful. So we'll go down here. Looks like there's some steps over there. Maybe get down a little further. I think there's a little doggy park or something down there maybe. Not sure. <laughs> Speaking of doggies, I do think about getting a small dog one of these days. I don't know, would this coming year be the time? when I'm talking about being a little more stationary. All right, put in the comments, a low maintenance, easy going, hardly barks, lovable, but not too needy, doggy. <laughs> What's your choice? This is so very beautiful. Yes, God fulfills the desires of our heart and he meets all of our needs, not just some of them. So, we'll probably go back to, I don't know, somewhere in the vicinity of Walmart. I've been at Cracker Barrel now for two days. Look at this. I Centennial sign over there. Franklin, 1799 to 1999. Where's all the people? Is everybody at home or out shopping at Walmart? <laughs> all righty. So I will leave you with this. Now you have my thoughts of where I'm headed and what I'll be doing. And as I go, I will share with you, North Carolina is first, first on the journey. It was originally going to be Ohio and then Delaware because I, uh, Tammy invited me up to Ohio, but that's a little bit, um, she's in a small RV park and not real friendly as far as having guests. So I decided that was not a good feeling. And then I was going to go to Delaware and visit my friend Judy, but I don't know, a little bit feels like I'm inviting myself. If I could hang out at Rehoboth Beach for a week and stay at the Cracker Barrel where I used to work. But I'm going to do Rehoboth someday when it's really uh, better, better weather. You know, where it's not still chilly at the beach. So North Carolina is it. That will be number 46. No, 45. Number 45 state. 
Blessings in your day. Joy in the journey.